you can consume much less food and still be energetic and maintain your weight levels. Your sugar values will not go up suddenly, you will not feel hungry for long periods of time. It gives you iron and it gives you a lot of fiber. So if you want to use your brain power and also physical activity, it'll work perfectly well. If you simply observe your own digestive system, the way it is built, there are enough parameters clearly telling you that this is built for vegetarian diet. We started eating non-vegetarian diet for survival. When survival was an issue, you eat whatever is available. It is not a moral issue, it's not a religious issue, it's not a philosophical stuff. It is just a question of what kind of fuel gets the best out of a particular machine. If you have a petrol motorcycle, you can put partially diesel, it'll still go. But you think you can race it? So the question is just this, what kind of life do you want to live? Do you want to live at the peak or you somehow want to survive? If you somehow want to survive, eat whatever the hell you want, what is the problem? But if you want to live at the optimum level, you want your body and your brains to function at its best, there is a certain way to eat. If you're conscious, you will see your body will function at a different level altogether. Because food is just fuel, it's not religion. You don't have to believe it, you just have to experiment with it. If… if you eat vegetarian diet, you have to eat consciously. You must make sure there's substantial variety. Nutrition just does not mean just verifiable facts. Nutrition is about that which supports your life. So in, the, in those terms, the millets have a certain power to support human body in many different ways. Millets have the highest level of protein content among all cereals and the calcium content, iron content and many micronutrients which you will not find in regular commercial wheat and rice that uh, largely populations are consuming today. So particularly in Karnataka, just about forty years ago, uh, every home had ragi diets. Ragi mudde is very popular and ragi can be made into so many things. Ragi ambali was a constant thing for children growing up and uh, ragi dosa, ragi roti, all these are very popular things. Just about anything that you can do with rice, you can also do with ragi, but we have fallen into one cereal trap, shifting at least fifty percent to millet diet. Even if you cannot go hundred percent because of travel and other things, even shifting fifty percent, you will see three things. One thing is your general health and level of energy will be way higher than what you're experiencing right now. Next thing is, you can consume much less food and still be energetic and maintain your weight levels. In terms of millets, one important thing is they are slow release, your sugar values will not go up suddenly, it's a slow release process and uh, with less food, you will not feel hungry for long periods of time, which is a very good thing to do. This is very easy, those of you who tend to fast and try to balance your diet by doing uh, fastings and uh, intermittent fastings and things like that, you will see millet is most supportive for that kind of lifestyle. And above all, millet is closely connected to the land in which you live. It is a natural aspect of the land and that is the best thing to consume because the land, the soil and your body are not three different things, they are one and the same. Will we get this now or will we get this only when we are buried? This is the only question. So millet should be brought into our lives. Every responsible citizen should do this for the well-being of their own health and well-being and for the well-being of the country and the world and the ecological diversity of the planet. And especially if you have growing children, millet is a must in your home. One great advantage with green is it gives you iron and it gives you a lot of fiber which makes the passage of food easy in the system. The protoplasm in the leaf 
which is what gives it the green color. You can never digest that if you eat it raw. If you cook it, you can digest it partially. Only certain aspects of the green leaf you can absorb, rest of it just goes waste. But it serves another purpose, that is the fiber is one thing. And if sufficient green leaf is eaten, even uncooked green leaf, if it's eaten, it, uh, it works like a brush. It takes away the mucus in your digestive tract. You have seen, if you have dogs or cats at home, once in a way they will eat grass, that is not their diet. But they eat this so that mucus is cleaned up. They are all conscious enough to know when their system is loaded with mucus. Human beings, too much mucus here, so they are not able to notice it. Otherwise you are supposed to notice it. One of the most important aspects of eating the green is it ensures that unnecessary impurities don't remain in the body. So it needs at least twenty-four hours or at least eighteen to twenty hours before it can work like that. So if you eat greens, you must eat early in the day so that next day it works as a good laxative and it clears up everything. So you… if you eat it in the night, you don't benefit from that. You must eat it early in the day. So, <laughs> you know very well, the most easily digestible food is fruit. Digestion means the taragni, the digestive fires as they are known. If these fires have to burn most effectively, fruit is definitely the best thing. So fruit can do miraculous things to the body. Sufficient consumption of fruit can do great things to the system. One can become very, very alive and active, no matter what is your lifestyle. But if you're doing very menial kind of job, let's say you're digging outside every day physically, not by… with a machine, but you're physically digging and doing very hard work, then you may find every two hours you get hungry because of the fruit. Because there is only that much volume you can eat, but it gets digested so rapidly that you may feel empty stomach. Till you come to a certain level of awareness where you are able to be empty stomach and still be energetic, because Hunger is about running out of energy, it's like you're running out of battery, that's why you need to eat. But today a lot of people, or most people I would say, when they feel little empty in the stomach, they feel like eating. To get out of this, you need a little bit of awareness that you're empty stomach but still you're okay because you're energetic. When your energy starts dipping, you eat. So if you go on a fr total fruit diet, you may have to either spend little more time on the lunch time and eat slowly so that you ingest enough fruit. Because with little fruit you will feel full because it's generally sweet. So one has to wait and slowly eat. There is also a bio clock within us that let us say your normal meal, cooked meal, you are taking ten, twelve minutes to eat. Even if you eat fruit, by the time you reach ten, twelve minutes, your body says you've eaten enough. So you have to consciously eat more because it is timing you, it is not looking at the fill, it's just timing you. When those ten, twelve minutes are gone, you feel you're full. So one has to go beyond that and consume enough. But if you are only on fruit diet and physically very active, it is important that maybe you bring three meals into your day and most of you may already be doing it. So, three times a day, if you're sleeping six hours or eight hours or whatever, 
for the remaining hours, sixteen to eighteen hours. Three times eating is more than enough if you're eating fruit, but stomach will feel empty within two hours' time. So you must get used to hanging on with high energy but empty stomach. This is the time your brain works best, this is the time as a human being you function best, it'll be good for you. So if you want to use your brain power and also physical activity, it'll work perfectly well. Yes, fruit will make a wonderful difference, especially in today's world, it's very important because we value a human being in the work areas, I'm saying. We value a human being for their brain power. So, for this, fruit will make a huge difference for sure. And ecologically, it's the most sensible thing to do.